I had to find something that really interested me, something that I really loved. But that was really scary. Honestly, I'm not surprised. Hey, everybody. Keep in mind that I'm recording this video on Tuesday, March 5th, and this situation is still evolving. For those that don't know, Our Flag Means Death is a TV show about an 18th century aristocrat named Steve Bonnet, who leaves his cushy life to live out his dream of becoming a pirate. And it goes as well as you think it does. The show has gotten a lot of praise for letting its queer characters actually be queer instead of queer baiting. Steed and Blackbeard actually end up together in season one, and there are other canonical queer relationships in the show. Our Flag Means Death really got the bad taste of John Luck and Destiel out of people's mouths, but like a pirate's life, it didn't last long. Our Flag Means Death was originally planned to have three seasons, but Warner Bros. canceled it after its second season. I've learned to not underestimate Warner Bros. over the years, but this really blindsided the fanbase and myself. Our Flag's first season had higher viewership than Euphoria, and the viewership only went up from there. And even though WB cut season 2's budget and amount of episodes, the show was still gaining viewers. WB canceling Our Flag is like if Netflix cancels Stranger Things or Bridgerton after two seasons. It's that idiotic. But I guess Warner Brothers didn't want to have a wholesome show about queer pirates even if it's one of their biggest shows. This is blatant homophobia. Since the news of the cancellation in January, the fanbase has been campaigning for the show to get renewed or get picked up by another streaming service with these hashtags. As of this recording, Save OFMD is the current group campaigning for the show. They're currently fundraising to have billboards and ads posted in the UK since Our Flag's second season is currently airing there. The cast and crew have been posting in support of the campaign and sharing behind-the-scenes footage. Fans have also been buying cameos of Reese Darby, the actor that plays Steed, and are sharing them online. David Jenkins, the show's creator, even thanked the fans for their support. Everything seemed to have been going well, until just this week. Hey, no, 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 It's me you want, it's me you want! Don't go I can tell you, you fucker! WB seems to be copying Nintendo and has been going on a power trip this past few days. Allegedly, some fans that are using the fan art hashtag on Twitter are getting targeted and are having their Etsy listings taken down for copyright infringement. As of me recording this on Tuesday, March 5th, there are still listings referencing our flag, but knowing WB, they will probably be taking down more listings in the coming weeks. This is outrageous. Artists' livelihoods are being threatened over liking a TV show. People are connecting with the show and making art and merch, and then a big company is ruining it. Steed Bonnet and Blackbeard are based on real-life pirates. WB doesn't own these artists' work. WB doesn't own this fan art I had commissioned of Ed dressed as Princess Peach with buttons perched on his head. We have the right to make and sell fan art and merch of works we've made. I'm also having similar issues with WB here on YouTube. Last Friday, I tried to upload a fan edit of an episode of the show where I edited it to be like the movie The Lighthouse. I changed the video to black and white, I changed the aspect ratio, and I cropped and rearranged almost every shot in the episode. You see all these lines in the timeline? Those are all the shots in the episode that I cropped and rearranged. All in all, this fan edit took me about 10 hours to make. I even mixed in music from the Lighthouse's soundtrack that I thought fit the scenes well, and I replaced the end credit song with the fan-made cover. And I did all of this on the free version of DaVinci Resolve. The voice isolation feature is only on the full version, but I can't afford it, so I tried to isolate the dialogue manually by cutting out the surround sound. And I also learned how to use color correction to make the character stand out in the night scenes better. Like with Steed's white shirt. This wasn't just a simple monochrome filter. Sorry if you're not a video editor, I just wanted to vent about that. All of that hard work of turning the episode into a new artistic work, and WB just completely blocked it. Not claimed, blocked. I tried cutting down the video into short clips, but again, they were blocked. I tried about four times to have something on my channel related to my fan edit, and only two made it through. The meme I uploaded on Monday was the only one that made it through without being claimed or blocked. I have a video scheduled for this Friday that just has a claim on it. But if you don't see a new video from me at noon Eastern, then it was probably taken down. WB blocking fan-made videos and taking down Etsy listings sets a dangerous precedent. It's showing that no matter how popular a queer show is, they can still cancel it and continue to profit off of the fans. If WB is in the process of making money, then they should not have canceled Our Flag Means Death, or at least left us fans alone. Our Flag was becoming one of the biggest shows on Max, but then they canceled it. And now WB is coming after the fans and artists that are keeping the show alive. 
they can't cancel a popular show and then retaliate against the fans who made the show popular to begin with. It's terrible for fans, and worst of all, it's terrible for business. How do they expect us to have brand loyalty? No one's going to want to pay for a service that cancels shows, jacks up the prices, and then cracks down on password sharing. I almost didn't watch Our Flag Means Death because it was on Max, and Max canceled or removed a bunch of my favorite shows, and I didn't want to financially support them. But I went and watched the show anyway because of how many people said it was good. Right now, as of recording, Our Flag is still available to watch on Max, but knowing WB, it might not be for long. My next few videos in the coming months are going to be related to Our Flag Means Death and other related media like People of Earth. I'll try to upload what I can on YouTube and then upload what I can to other platforms like Twitter, Tumblr, and Ko-fi. If you want to stay updated on everything I'm working on, such as my Lighthouse edits, follow me on those platforms. If you've had a favorite TV show canceled and or removed by Max, and odds are you have, then please tell WB that you won't stand for this. Like the graduates at Boston U that booed Zaslav during the writer's strike, let your voice be heard. Save OFMD has a bunch of resources to help out. I have their socials down in the description. Please don't subscribe to Max. They're going to keep canceling beloved shows even though it's ruining the reputation. They don't deserve your business. Help us save our flag means death. Don't let WB get away with ruining television. And just a quick thing to add at the end of the video, as I was editing this video, I just saw that they just shut down Rooster Teeth after 20 years. <sighs> Skr Warner Brothers. Rip Ruby.